Hello, it's Pastor Ken from Northminster Presbyterian Church. I hope you're having a great day and a good week. Uh, one of the uh, things I look forward to at Christmas is getting new books to read. And one of the new books I received this year, uh, the title is Talking to Goats, uh, Greatest of All Times, and is written by uh, sports writer Jim Gray. And it is a fascinating look at uh, people, not just in the sports world, but men and women who would be considered uh, the greatest of all time in what they do, or at least one of the greatest of all time of what they do. And uh, so it uh, goes across sports, people in sports, but also uh, in entertainment uh, and even touches on some business. And it's amazing to me that uh, one of the consistent uh, ways or the consistent uh, threads that go through uh, these people and their lives is what they do when nobody is watching. Uh, the disciplines and the habits that they put into their life, uh, the hard work that they do all by themselves, um, getting up early, going to bed late, studying film, um, taking years to write uh, one song or uh, do one accomplishment. And this is just a consistent theme that we see in people who become uh, the greatest of all time in whatever profession they choose. And I think the same can be said for the Christian life. Uh, we as Christians, and we, we have this example with Jesus, uh, are to spend time alone in preparing, in praying, in reading scripture, and in seeking the Holy Spirit to work in our lives um, to give us understanding and wisdom so that when people ask us for our opinion, um, when people want to know what we think about something, uh, we have that discipline that we have done, the habits that we have put into place um, to uh, make our Christian life uh, meaningful, not only for ourselves, and for others, but especially to bring glory to God. And so uh, I hope that this year, um, maybe a discipline or a habit, I'm certainly gonna try to do that, is to put in that work of daily prayer, uh, daily scripture reading, and seeking the Holy Spirit uh, to uh, work in our lives. I hope you have a great uh, day and a great week and uh, stay safe and be well.